Hello everybody and welcome to the Rodney12279 channel on January 4th, 2014 on this Saturday. First of all, I want to start with a prayer first. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I just ask that you give us the strength to hear your word on today and give us the strength to read your word on today and get an understanding as we get into this word. Give us wisdom as we read through your Bible on this year in the name of Jesus. Now, Father God, as we get ready to go forth into this word, we ask that you forgive us our sins, forgive us our shortcomings, give us the guidance to hear your will, and give us the understanding to live by your will on a daily basis. And on top of that, God, I want to pray for my Aunt Vera, God, who um, is dealing with the fact that her sister is moving out um, to another um, apartment. I want to pray that she be safe and be looked after well and give her the strength uh, during this time while she while her sister is moving. And I pray this now in Jesus' name. Amen. And with that said, we're going to start with our Bible reading. I'm going to start by setting the clock at 10 minutes so I can go to the next part if I have to. So, well, before I start the clock, I should say what we're reading. Okay, today's reading is found in Genesis 11, and we're going to read all the way to Genesis 14. So I'm going to read from chapters 11 through 14, and also we're going to be reading um, 1 Chronicles, the, four, the first chapter, verses 20. 4 through 27. That's first crown codes, the first chapter, verses 24 through 27. Alright, let me start the clock here. Okay, we're gonna begin our Bible reading. Okay, um, the Tower of Babel, the Tower of Babel. Genesis the eleventh chapter, verses one through nine. And it says, Now the whole earth had one language and one speech. And it came to pass as they journeyed from the east that they found a plain in the land of Shinar, and they dwelt there. Then they said to one another, Come, let us make bricks and bake them thoroughly. They had brick for stone, and they had asphalt for mortar. And they said, Come, let us build ourselves a city and a tower whose top is in the heavens. Let us make a name for ourselves, lest we be scattered abroad over the face of the whole earth. But the Lord came down to see the city and the tower which the sons of men had built. And the Lord said, Indeed, the people are one and they are all have one language and this is what they begin to do now nothing that they propose to do will be withheld from them come let us go down and there confuse their language that they may not understand one another's speech so the Lord scattered them abroad from there over the face of all the earth and they ceased building the city therefore its name is called Babel because there the Lord confused the language of all the earth and from there the Lord scattered them abroad over the face of all the earth. Now we're going to read the genealogy of Shem to Abram that's in Genesis 11 the 10th chapter through verse excuse me Genesis the 11th chapter Verses 10 through 26. Genesis the 11th chapter, verses 10 through 26. This is the genealogy of Shem. Shem was 100 years old and begot Arphaxad two years after the flood. After he begot Arphaxad, Shem lived 500 years and begat sons and daughters. Arphaxad lived 35 years and begat Salah. And after he begat Salah, Arphaxad lived 403 years and begot sons and daughters. 
Salah lived 30 years and begot Eber. And after he begot Eber, Salah lived 403 years and begot sons and daughters. Eber lived 34 years and begot Peleg. After he begot Peleg, Eber lived 430 years and begot sons and daughters. Peleg lived 30 years and begot Ru. After he begot Ru, Peleg lived 209 years and begot sons and daughters. Ru lived 32 years and begot Sarug. And after he begot Sarug, Ru lived 207 years and begot sons and daughters. Sarug lived 30 years and begot Nahor. After he begot Nahor, Sarug lived 200 years and begot sons and daughters. Nahor lived 29 years and begot Terah. After he begot Terah, Nahor lived 119 years and begot sons and daughters. Now Terah lived 70 years and begot Abram, Nahor, and Haran. Now we're going to read 1 Chronicles, the first chapter, verses 24 through 27. Shem, Arphaxad, Shelah, Eber, Peleg, Ru, Sarug, Nahor, Terah, and Abram. Who is Abraham? Okay. The family of Terah. The family of Terah. Genesis, the 11th chapter, verses 27 through 31. Now this uh, period took place either... 2166 B.C. or 2000 B.C., so about 4,000 years ago. Beginning with the history of Terah's family, two dates are given, a traditional earlier date and an alternative. Later date, all dates are approximate. Here it is. This is the genealogy of Terah. Terah begot Abram, Nahor, and Haran. Haran begot Lot, and Haran died before his father Terah in his native land in Europe of the Chaldeans. Then Abram and Nahor took wives. The name of Abram's wife was Sarah. And the name of Nahor's wife, Milcah, the daughter of Haran, the father of Milcah, and the father of Iscah. But Sarah was, Sarai was barren. She had no child. And Terah took his son Abram and his grandson Lot, the son of Haran, and his daughter-in-law Sarai, his son, Abram's wife, and they went out with them from Ur, of the Chaldeans, to go to the land of Canaan. And they came to Haran and dwelt there. Now this is the call of Abram. The call of Abram. Genesis 12 chapter, verses 1 through 9. The call of Abram. And this is what the Lord said to Abram, Get out of your country, from your family, and from your father's house, to a land that I will show you. I will make you a great nation, I will bless you, and make your name great. And you shall be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and I will curse those who curse you. And in you, all the families of the earth shall be blessed. So Abram departed, as the Lord had spoken to him, and Lot went with him. And Abram was 75 years old when he departed from Haran. Then Abram took Sarai, his wife, and Lot, his brother's son, and all their possessions that they had gathered, and the people whom they had acquired in Haran. And they departed to go to the land of Canaan. So they came to the land of Canaan, Abram passed through the land to the place of Shechem, as far as the tabernacle tree of Moray. And the Canaanites were in were then in the land. Then the Lord appeared to Abram and said, To your descendants I will give this land. And there he built an altar to the Lord, who had appeared to him. And he moved from there to the mountain east of Bethel, and he pitched his tent with Bethel on the west, and I on the east. There he built an altar to the Lord and called on the name of the Lord. So Abram journeyed, going on still toward the south. Okay, Abram and Sarai in Egypt. Abram and Sarai in Egypt. This is Genesis 12 chapter verses 10 through 20. Abram and Sarai in Egypt. Now there was a famine in the land. 
And Abram went down to Egypt to dwell there, for the famine was severe in the land. And it came to pass when he was close to entering Egypt that he said to Sarai his wife, Indeed, I know that you are a woman of beautiful countenance. Therefore, it will happen. When the Egyptians see you, they will say, This is his wife, and they will kill me. But they will let you live. Please say you are my sister, that it may be well with me for your sake, and that I may live because of you. So it was when Abram came into Egypt that the Egyptians saw the woman, that she was very beautiful. The princes of Pharaoh also saw her and commended her to Pharaoh. And the woman was taken to Pharaoh's house. He treated Abram well for her sake. He had sheep, oxen, male donkeys, male and female servants, female donkeys, and camels. But the Lord plagued Pharaoh and his house with great plagues because of Sarai, Abram's wife. And Pharaoh called Abram and said, What is this you have done to me? Why did you not tell me that she was your wife? Why did you say she is my sister? I might have taken her as my wife. Now, therefore, here is your wife. Take her and go your way. So Pharaoh commanded his men concerning him, and they sent him away and with his wife and all that he had. Abram and Lot separate. Abram and Lot separate. Genesis the 13th chapter verses 1 through 18. Abram and Lot separate. Genesis the 13th chapter verses 1 through 18. Then Abram went up from Egypt, he and his wife, and all that he had, and Lot with him to the south. Abram was very rich in livestock, in silver, and in gold. And he went on his journey from the south as far as Bethel to the place where his tent had been at the beginning. Beth, between Bethel and I, to the place of the altar which he had made there at first. And Abram was called on the name of the Lord. Now that's going to conclude the first part. Stay tuned for the second part of today's scripture. Don't go away.